what is going on YouTube it's your boy dollar Mike and I'm back at it again with another video in today's video we're talking about a great topic one of my favorite topics to talk about and that is credit cards so I'm gonna be telling you guys my favorite or top credit cards for the year of 2023 I've already talked about credit cards enough on the channel so if you want more details about credit cards in general and what you can do to get a higher credit score I'll have links for videos they'll be linked all up there later on in today's video or you can just click up there at the top to see more videos that talk about credit cards and discuss the benefits of having a credit card and things like that just watch my credit cards 101 video to get started but either way not gonna waste your time we're talking about the top or my favorite credit cards in no particular order in today's video so let's get right into the video let's go so my thought process for this video really comes down to personal preference it doesn't apply to everyone but i try to find a card on here that would work out for everyone's needs in every particular case that i could find for the most part either way i want to start with my first card on the list today and that is the x1 credit card this credit card is my daily driver right now and i'm getting about four percent cash back on every single purchase that i make with the x1 credit card so let's dive into it real quick the x1 credit card is right here this credit card has no annual fee this credit card has no foreign transaction fees and no late fees you'll get two times the points back on every purchase that you make with this credit card but you'll get three times the points back if you spend fifteen thousand dollars in a single calendar year you'll get four five or ten times the points back every time you refer somebody to this credit card which is also super nice and I've been receiving about 4% cash back or 4% times back or four times back I guess you could say since I initially got this card back and I believe late 2021 so for a full year I've been receiving at least 4% cash back or four times back with this credit card, which has been absolutely amazing. I have absolutely no complaints ever since I originally got this card. I know some people are on Reddit and other places like YouTube talking about it in a negative light because negative things may have happened to them. But personally for me, nothing bad has happened. No credit limits have been dropped or any other issues I've ever had with this card. All the issues that I have had, which are very minor, have all been resolved within the first 24 hours of me just reaching out to the X1 team on the app, which is super smooth, super easy app to use but i'm not going to dive too deep into it i made a full-blown review talking about it in a updated review that i posted about three months ago so if you're interested in that definitely check it out the link will be right up there the key factor that i want to mention with this card is the redemption so if you're not redeeming points for some of the partner brands that they have with this particular x1 card or i guess x1 in general then i wouldn't really recommend getting the card i'll have a picture on screen or at least a couple of pictures showing you their partner brands and you'll get one cent per point when it comes to redeeming points for those particular brands so what you do is you'll buy let's say a purchase maybe you'll go buy a flight with southwest which is a partner with the card you can use the points that you may have to go ahead and get statement credit or pretty much a full-blown redemption one cent per point to go ahead and pay off that particular purchase so like i said if you're not going to use this card with some of the partner brands that they have on here at least on a semi-regular basis then i would not recommend you grab the x1 credit card but past that if you shop at some of these places that i have on screen then you should be good to go and i definitely recommend it and on top of that if you go ahead and apply for this card you can see how much you're going to get approved for before you go ahead and accept it so if you want to go ahead and apply for it just to see and you don't have any you know it's no impact to your credit or anything like that you'll know when i first got approved for this card i got approved for twenty two thousand dollars this is my highest credit limit card i love it for that reason and it has tons of other benefits as well so if you want to go and grab one you can do that with my link down below my link down below will get you an extra bonus if you decide to get the card if you're approved and everything like that it's completely up to you you don't have to use any of my links down below it just gives me a small kickback and helps the channel out if you wish to do so you can if not perfectly fine with me either way you do get something in return if you do use my link and get approved for it so that's pretty much it like i said there's other benefits with the card as well which you'll see in my full-blown review so definitely check that video out and i'll have something on screen to show you as well now the next card in no particular order is definitely a go-to ultimate cash back card with no annual fee like the last one and that is known as the chase freedom flex credit card one of my favorite credit cards in pretty much to this day i haven't used it as much simply because i have the x1 right now but this credit card 
is goaded and if you can't get the x1 i would highly recommend you get this the chase freedom flex is going to give you a card that has no annual fee a zero percent interest rate for the first 15 months 200 dollars for free when you spend 500 dollars within the first three months of getting approved and so much more which i'm going to talk about right here you'll get five percent back in rotating categories that they change every three months i believe right now you're gonna get five percent back in some grocery stores and stuff like that you'll also get five percent back on travel when you go ahead and book through the chase ultimate rewards portal which is pretty nice i made some book bookings through there as well and we'll talk about that later on in today's video past that you'll also get five percent back in groceries as i mentioned before up to twelve thousand dollars every single calendar year so that's about six hundred dollars in cash back if you maximize that reward every single year if you're spending a lot on groceries then this is a go-to for you of course past that you're gonna get five percent back in lyft rides not uber rides but lyft rides so if you use lyft a lot and you'll get five percent back and even if you don't you'll still get five percent back when you do that's cool past that you're gonna get three percent back in food purchases so that's restaurants and doordash and stuff like that so food delivery on top of restaurants so that's nice as well you'll get another three percent back in drug stores and then one percent back in everything else this card offers you a lot of cash back on top of the sign up bonus on top of the zero introductory interest period it's a lot to like about this card and if you want to if you want to go ahead and sign up for this card the link is down below it'll help the channel out greatly like i said you don't have to use my links completely up to you but i think this is one of my favorite cards still of 2022 and of course in 2023 the chase freedom flex also has those extra benefits like the x1 card does and on top of those extra benefits it has even more benefits like an extra three months when it comes to doordash dash pass if you use doordash a lot which i personally do every now and then if you use doordash a lot you're gonna get three months for free when it comes to a membership on doordash dash pass and you'll also get a three free three month membership of instacart plus which is another thing that delivers your groceries so more benefits more options love to see it cannot recommend this card enough personally i think it's a great card i think you should sign up if you're interested especially if you need something that's like this regardless let's move on over to the next card and the next card is something special for people that are renting if you're renting right now like if you're renting an apartment maybe you're renting out a home i'm not sure how the home thing works but i know for sure apartments work really well with this card and that is a card that's pretty much all the news right now it's highly recommended extremely popular on youtube right now with all the credit youtubers and that is the built credit card the built credit card allows you to go ahead and pay your rent with a credit card which is typically not allowed typically in an apartment complex like the one i'm in right now if you go ahead and try to pay your rent with a credit card you're gonna have to pay some type of transaction fee which might be three four five maybe ten percent of whatever you're paying in rent which can turn up to be a lot of money if you're not getting enough in cash back to overall you know counteract that then there's no point in paying with a credit card when it comes to paying your rent but a huge benefit of paying your rent with a credit card is that you earn points so with built they pretty much got the fee covered so you don't have to worry about paying a credit card card fee at all and you can still earn points on every single rent transaction you make that you can use to go ahead for whatever you want to use it for but typically what i would use it for is what they recommend you use it for which is travel purchases so if you want to go ahead and travel a lot more or just catch some free flights or free hotels or free car rentals and stuff like that with the points that you're going to be receiving anyway by simply paying rent every single month then i think this one is pretty much a no-brainer when it comes to build you'll earn 1x back on all rent payments up to fifty thousand dollars per year so as long as your rent is under four thousand one hundred sixty six dollars and you're pretty much going to get as much as you can get when it comes to points every single year with built you'll also get 2x points back on travel and another 3x points back on dining and you'll also get another 1x points back on everything else so honestly like i said i think this is a no-brainer in general just if you literally rent and that's pretty much that personally i have a built account i don't have the built credit card my girlfriend just actually got approved for the built credit card so going forward we're going to start using that to pretty much pay our rent payments and like i said before all that points is just going to go to us making free trips and having free travel for ourselves going forward because we have to pay rent anyway so why not go ahead and earn some cash back on it and use it some of their travel partners as i mentioned built is partnered with a lot of different travel like companies so of course they're going to have a tons of travel like benefits like trip protection rental protections and even double points on the first of the month double points just for one day but still i'll take it either one day or not you can wait 
and save up and you know go ahead and splurge on the first of the month if for things that you may have to buy anything anyway like groceries and you're good to go so just saying built is definitely super solid for that and i think it's worth your time if you want to do some more research and find out more about it if you are interested then the link to sign up for the built mastercard will be linked down below past that we gotta talk about travel because i just mentioned travel and i think built is a great travel card but it's not the travel card especially not the beginner travel card and by all means the beginner travel card the best travel card in my personal opinion for beginners is the chase sapphire preferred now this card has an annual fee of about 95 dollars every single year but all the benefits that you get with this card well outweigh the annual fee by pretty much miles every single year so let's talk about some of those benefits right here but if you're traveling this is the card to go for for sure so of course with another chase card on the list you're going to have some some of the same benefits as the chase freedom flex but the chase sapphire preferred is going to give you even more so right here you're going to get no no foreign transaction fees you're also going to get sixty thousand points if you spend four thousand dollars within the first three months that equals up to about $750 in travel credit that you can use for, to pretty much go anywhere. And we'll talk about that at a later time in this video. On top of that, you're going to get a $50 hotel credit every single year just for having this card. You're also going to get 5% back on all lift rides. You're going to get 5% back on all travel booked through the Chase Ultimate Portal. You're going to get 2% back on all other travel, 3% back on dining, another 3% back on groceries. 3% back on streaming services and another 1% back on everything else. This is a lot of cash back and well worth it for the beginner traveler. Past that, there's more benefits to talk about, so let's get into them. Well, you'll also get one full year of a DoorDash Dash Pass membership. You'll get one full year of a Instacart Plus membership, all for free by just holding this card, by simply paying $95 every single year. Like I said, all the points back, all the cash back, plus the travel benefits, it's gonna equal up to be well worth more than $95 every single year for you anyway. Past that, you're still getting even more. You're getting another 25% bonus if you go ahead and redeem your points for more trace chase travel through the chase ultimate rewards portal which i just did when i booked my trip to go somewhere in the world which i'm not gonna say just yet but you'll see it likely on the second channel so if you're interested it'll be linked right up there when i go ahead and make vlogs for that trip that's my first international trip my first trip outside the country i bought a business class trip to the other side of the world for about $3,800 in value and I paid absolutely nothing because I used the points that I had with the Chase card that I have right here. Has that as a beginner traveler's card. Of course, it has all the beginner's travel benefits like the built card and also some of the X1 perks. So of course, you're gonna get all that trip protection plus all the rental protection, anything type of protection you may need when it comes to traveling. Just book it with this card and you'll be good to go. And of course, purchase protection as well for a lot of your products. It's, it's a great card. It's probably one of my favorite cards. And honestly, if I had one card in my wallet, especially as a traveler, I think this would probably be it. I wouldn't even bother with anything else unless I'm traveling a lot. If you're traveling a lot, there are other cards for you. But this is generally speaking to the mass population, not somebody that's trying to travel, catch 20, 30 flights in a given year. So this is a, that the beginning, like I would say one to 10 flights a year. This is the card for you. If you would like to sign up for the Chase Sapphire Preferred, then my link will be down below for that as well. With the last card that I want to mention today is one of the top cards of 2023. It's for people that are, don't have credit at all. Maybe you're a student right now, you know, just getting out of high school, going into college, or people that have really bad credit and they're trying to rebuild their credit. I would go for something like the Discover It Secured credit card. With this credit card, you pretty much are going to go ahead and give Discover a deposit. That deposit will go ahead and be your credit limit. And this is a great way to start out building your credit or possibly rebuilding your credit if you need to do just that this card also has no annual fee which is great and you'll get cash back as well which is kind of unheard of for secured credit cards typically a secured credit card you're just going to put small purchases on there every single month to overall build up your credit but discover it was nice enough to actually give you some cash back which is great so you'll get two times the points back on restaurants and gas stations and one times the points back on everything else i think that's honestly phenomenal like i said this is for people that don't have credit at all or they're trying to re rebuild their credit because they have a low credit score so this is great for those people to still be able to earn some cash back and you know and let's help you increase your credit score which is extremely important and like i said if you need more details about increasing your credit score and everything that goes into your credit score i'll have a link to a video if you write up there i made a video last year not much has changed but i can make an updated one if you guys want me to it'll be down below just comment down below saying i make make an updated credit video mike 
and I got you guys. Either way, that's pretty much that for that. And on top of that, you'll get, like I said, that refundable deposit. So you don't have to worry about it. If you if you give them five hundred dollars, your credit limit will be five hundred dollars. Once you've you know built your credit up enough, they'll give you a regular Discover It card, and they'll refund you that five hundred dollars that you initially put up as your original credit limit. So great on Discover's part. It's a great credit card just to have. If you're trying to build your credit, but if you're good to go, then you don't really need to go ahead and grab this. This is really for, like I said beginners or people that's just trying to rebuild and that's pretty much it so of course there's no particular credit score that you need to go ahead and grab this card but the other cards on the list today i do want to mention to you that i think it's necessary to have a required score of at least 670 when it comes to trying to apply for the x1 credit card and honestly i would say for all the other credit cards like the built chase sapphire and chase freedom flex i would say try to have at least a 715 credit score before you go ahead and apply for these credit cards now how do you find out your credit score a great way to check that out is credit karma or the experian app they aren't 100 percent accurate but that's probably the closest you'll get without going to your annual credit score annual credit report.com i believe to go ahead and get your full credit report and i'm not sure if it even has your credit score on there to begin with so Overall, use a couple of apps to find out roughly what your credit score is and see what your odds are of actually getting approved. I know Credit Karma isn't the 100% end-all be-all when it comes to the accurate, most accurate credit score, but it's still pretty close. I would say if your Credit Karma says it's 700, I would just go down about 15 to 20 points and say it's 675 or 680, something like that. I would go around that, some, some, somewhere around that ballpark. But overall, I would always say it's less than what these apps say but it is something to go off of if you are looking for your credit score to find out if you can get approved for any of these cards that i mentioned on the list today i have about 11 and i've also made a video talking about why i have so many credit cards in the first place but either way that's all I really got those are my top picks or my favorite credit cards for 2023 let me know what your favorite credit cards are there are tons out here for tons of different use cases and that's that if you guys wanted a full-blown food credit card the mx gold credit card would be great for that but that annual fee is a little bit too high so i didn't mention it today and also if you guys are super pro travelers you're traveling 20 20 flights or whatever a year maybe more than that then of course the amex platinum would be really good for you but like i said i didn't really mention those cards because typically speaking i don't think it really applies to everyone so i just went with what the basics made basics of people may go for so that's pretty much it let me know what you think down below in the comment section that's all i got to say for this video those are my credit cards for 2023 and i'll catch you guys in the next one i'm out take care of yourselves stay safe stay positive stay hydrated dollar mike peace